you always need the best to bring the best out in you. What a block by Russell! What a block by Bill Russell on Chamberlain's dunk shot! Incredible! So I was always fortunate uh, to have to know that I was going to play against William Felton Russell. And Wilt goes on the jump shot to the left. A great play by Chamberlain. On this play, he injures his hand. And it doesn't completely keep him out of action, but it does bother him. The winning is only important if you beat the best. My friend Wilt, Norman Chamberlain, was far and away the best player I've ever played against. It's the greatest debate in NBA history. Russell or Chamberlain? In the long run, I'll be able to handle myself man to man with almost anyone in the league. I'd like you. The reach don't mean nothing if you can't find nothing. I should. And Bill I Russell promises right. Bill Russell and a few more players are going to be my sparring partners to get rid of you. Will would not only block your shot, Will could go up in the air and catch your shot. Buys the wealth of this schoolboy's abilities. First, Chamberlain steals the ball in midair, then, and Wilt does the rest. I remember my first uh, encounter during the regular season. I remember I, I had a, a real good game, and I thought he had a real good game. And I was spent emotionally. think about the mystery behind Will Chamberlain. For, uh, you just had to win it all or you did nothing at all. Did it hurt to not win? The other guy that you're most associated with and always have been, it's some, something you almost don't even want to talk about anymore, but I'm going to bring it up anyway, is Bill Russell. That Russell was always considered the more team-oriented ball player and ultimately, of course, the more successful ball player. So I had some statements to make uh, after he got out of basketball that I think were somewhat unkind to me. He said, at a some type of speech that he would have never left the game unless short of a broken back. Russell won 11 world championships and was given all the accolades that possible can give. But today, I'm not so sure that he is a very happy man. Initial tap on this game, and then listen to the crowd from that point on. There's the foul on the play. Lakers maintain possession, followed by Russell, three points. Russell, of course, gets the rebounds. Here's a little scrap starting out there, quickly broken up. The Sanders shoots and hits. And the score right now, Lakers 31, the Celtics 28. With a minute, there was Russell blocking the shot. And the Celtics now lead 45. And West with a long jump, Russell deflected it and keeps it. Beautiful play. Russell has made three big plays in the last three minutes of the game. Barnett goes in and Russell blocks it. Bob Cousy now has 14 points. Drives along the baseline, follows the shot, and there's Russell batting it away as Wiley shoots. Wiley was guarding Russell, but to no avail. This is a screen for Kuzi. Havlicek gets off the shot, and that was Russell. Greatest player you ever faced. Would it automatically be Bill Russell? I played against teams, not individuals, and uh, uh, Russell was just one of the great players that I had a chance to play against. A wiry 6'10". Bad physical moves. 
and then try to block that shot. And a lot of times, I'd get it. He would hit the ball most of the times underneath the ball. So he just pop it. You know, all I've seen today, all I've seen 10 years ago, and all I've seen 20 and 30 years ago. The most physically dominant player in NBA history, Chamberlain was also among the most versatile. Before every game, I said to myself, now this is what I need to do in this game for me to be good in this game and be a valuable asset to my team. About the number one I think about people breaking my rebound record or people never fouling out of a game or uh, centers leading the league in assists. Like all great rivals, the careers of Chamberlain and Russell will be forever linked together. Two seasons after moving west, the Warriors meet the Celtics for the NBA crown. First time in his career, Wilt is part of a talented and balanced team. Thrown Boston in five games, ending their incredible run of eight consecutive championships. After seven seasons of individual glory, it is Chamberlain's first taste of ultimate victory. Uh, right before I scored 100 points, I averaged about 71 points a game. I, I, I was too fast, I was too, too, too strong. One guy is not going to take me down uh, in, that, in that particular way. I mean, he'd come past my house on Thanksgiving because we played Philly, Boston all the time, sleep in my bed, eat the food, sleep in my bed, and go out there and whip my butt. But it's very rare in all the sports when two names are linked like your two names are. Success is a journey, not a destination. Playing against him, made the journey just absolutely fascinating. The Boston Celtics are once again the world champions. NBA history came alive in Cleveland, where the league's 50 greatest players were honored at halftime of the 1997 All-Star Weekend. You see Jabbar walk in, you see Jordan walk in, you see Elgin and Oscar. You know that this is something special. I tried to get as many as him, I couldn't get there. And then I was fighting this man. It was a noble day. effort, though. Yeah, noble effort. Noble effort. <laughs> From the Los Angeles Lakers, number 13, Wilt Chamberlain. I didn't complain. <laughs> All right, looking good. Thought about it. Coach. Coach. Well, he got that zone defense in his favor, though, Russ. Really? They ain't going to be able to, gonna be able to drop three and four or five guys on down What there, year did they put the no zone defense? Oh, the zone was always in there. No it just weren't called. It. <laughs> called it. Oh, it was always in there. Oh, it was in there. 91 to 76, the largest lead held by the Celtics in this game. Seemed to be a little more tired than the Celtics. The other three pick up the scoring slack. As we look at Wilt Chamberlain with five fouls. And of course, Sam's fifth foul, not near as critical as Wilt. The Belgian Baylor driving across the middle. 94 to 80. He's playing in his 101st game this year, Chris. And now Bill Russell has five personals. 
Will Chamberlain driving on Russell, and you may see a lot of that now. Bryant and Bailey Howell. 9.47 left in the game. Chamberlain with the rebound. Los Angeles trailing to the largest margin. 17. Chamberlain gets the rebound. There you see the list of players. Jones, Russell, and Chamberlain with five personal fouls. Havlicek gives to him. Blocked, and Chamberlain has the rebound. Back to Tom, who goes around Russell. Russell bats it away. Chamberlain and is hooked by Havlicek. Grabbing Wilt to prevent him from dunking the ball. You know, Wilt shooting 45% from the line. That was a good percentage play. For the ball game, here's Havlicek. Rebound coming off, and Chamberlain gets it. And Chamberlain hurt his leg on the play. Chamberlain Ch can't move, Chris. He's down there holding that knee. He really twisted that knee on that last rebound. But he did get the rebound and quickly calls for a timeout. Checking it. Freezes the uh, spot that was twisted. And this also could be a big factor in the closing minutes of this game. There you see Bill Russell at the other end of the floor taking advantage of the timeout to rest up a little bit. And now Wilt Chamberlain comes over to the bench. But with under six minutes remaining, Wilt hobbles to the bench and does not return. Bill Russell guarded by Counts. Chamberlain is on the bench. Counts is an excellent outside shooter. So Russell is going to have to guard him. 40 seconds to go. Mel Counts drives on Russell. Can't get it up and Russell takes it away. It's a steal by Johnny Egan. They let him score it. And time has run out, and the Boston Celtics have done it again. A two-point victory by Boston. Russell's legacy is complete. Erickson of Los Angeles, a disappointed Wilt Chamberlain, brought here for the man most valuable during the entire seven games. And Jerry West has won it, averaging over 30 points. And tonight he had another big scoring night coming through with 42. Jack. Just an amen or anything else? That's it. Let's amen.